Let's jump into our couple final questions um, here, Darren, is for people that are listening and watching this back on our uh, channel on the exchange, yeah. Yeah. what are some of the simple things that an organisation can do and maybe yeah. take away today and start today? Um, yeah. What are some of the simple things that organisations can, can, do, can do to strengthen their brand? Yeah, great. I think the first one is be deliberate. By that I mean brand doesn't happen by accident. Brand happens by design and discipline. So unless you have uh, a brand strategy and you start aligning all the different parts of, the, of your organisation to that, which, which is the daily grind, um, you, um, you're not acting purposefully. So brand has to be built from the inside out and, um, and from the top down. So <clears throat> you need to get the key stakeholders uh, engaged, which we've talked a lot, and educated and excited about the opportunity of brand. Um, and I should say, um, I, I have experienced this in a number of situations um, with not-for-profits is um, that they don't like calling brand brand. It's as though it's far, it's too commercial. So I've been told not to use brand and, and in fact, um, speak about it as um, image or reputation. Um, but I think we need to talk about it as brand. It's brand, you know? Um, and um, I think getting a, getting a baseline of, of, of your brand health is really important. What are you actually dealing with here? And this will help in your business case conversations with your uh, with next up um, directors. So how are we sitting from a, an awareness and a perception point of view? We can do, you can do that with your existing client base very easily with, with a, a well-designed customer survey. Um, <clears throat> and it's really powerful to do, that, to do that on a rolling basis. So you don't have to uh, spend tens of thousands of dollars on that. So you, it, it can be easily um, executed. Um, and, and of course, there are a lot, lot, lot more other, more sophisticated um, methods of uh, gauging brand health and tracking brand health. Um, so, and then I think it's, it's, it's about make, implanting brand as being something that happens every day and every moment in the business. So there's four ways of brand that can be communicated. It's through the products and services, through the behavior of people, through the environment, the physical environment, and through the communications, which are obvious ones. So the communications tend to be the most mature and most aligned to the brand definition if, you, if that's been done. Um, the real clincher is the behavioral piece, getting everyone in the organization to be able to tell you why, who, 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 the organization, who the organization is and why they matter and the values and be able to tell you, because it is, it's, 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 it's not rote learned. It's, this is, this is, this is, this is how we do things around here. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and engaging team leaders and various uh, uh, levels within the organization to, to, to really embed that. Of course, it's got to come ultimately from the top, but brand culture is a very, very inexpensive way of building a very strong brand. Um, so it just takes effort, understanding, um, and, and discipline. Yeah.